So I am a surfer and a runner, and sometimes when I surf, my hips get tight to where I can't even lift my leg. So we're working on uh, loosening up those hips, that back. We're also going to strengthen the core. This is going to be a moderate, intermediate, easy type yoga, just get, to get our body flowing. Let's start by inhaling, bring your hands over our head, and hold it, and then bring it down, and exhale, bring it back around. Inhale, over our head, and exhale. Once again, inhale, over our head, stretch it out, reach the sky, exhale, and now we're going to slowly roll it down through our spine, slowly roll it down, I like to bend my knees a little bit and just hang it down nice and loose with that head get nice and loose and slowly roll it back up through the spine. Now as you bring it up, bring it on up, inhale, and we're going to go back down again. Slowly roll down <clears throat> through the spine, relax the head, let the arms hang, let the head hang. If you want to go from side to side, I like doing that because I get the feeling in my hamstrings and my IT band, and slowly roll back up. Now we're going to take our arms, put our right hand to the side, and lean. Nice and easy, just lean to the side and hold it. Feel that stretch in your lats, your serratus anterior, those obliques. Now we're going to go to the other side. Lean to the other side, over your head, push that hip out. If you push that hip out, you'll feel that stretch in your side. And let's go to the other side. Back to the other side. Lean, push that hip out. Ooh, I just felt something crack. It was a good crack. And once more to the other side. Over your head, push that hip out. Feel that stretch in the side of your body. Oh, nice, feels good. Feel in the back. Okay, now we're going to get those hips and knees lubricated. So we're just going to go around in a circle, nice and easy. That's two, three. Let's go in the other direction. You've got a ball and socket inside your hips. So we're just getting blood flow to those hips. Okay, we did about three. Now we're going to do our knees. We're going to go three to the right. We're just lubricating those joints before we play our activities. Okay, now we're going to go the other way. Three to the left. Just get that blood flow, circulation. Okay, you want those joints nice and lubricated. Okay, we did three each way. Now we're just going to get that back loosened up. This would be good if you're doing golf, or if you're going surfing, or if you're going for a run. Just twist side to side. Let those arms flow. I like to bend my foot. Wow, I even feel the stretch of my ankle when I do this. Nice and easy. If you rest, you rust. Sitting is the new form of smoking. So I don't care what we're doing, as long as we're moving. Keep that body moving. You rest, you rust. That's what Great Nanny used to say. Good. Now we're going to do our cactus arms. Stretch out that chest. We all like to do push-ups and bring those arms back and hold it. Squeeze those shoulders together and bring it down. We all like to do bench press. We push off that surfboard. While we're surfing, bring those arms back and our chest gets so tight. Let's inhale, bring oxygen, exhale to the chest. And once more, bring it up and cactus arms. Bring those cactus arms back and hold it and feel that stretch, feel that stretch, bring it down. Now we get our hands in the back of our pockets. I don't know if you hear the rain in the background, but it's raining where I'm at and there's a drain pipe behind me. Put your hands in your back pocket and reach. Oh, feel the stretch in the neck and the chest and the shoulders and push those hips forward. And inhale again. Get the oxygen flow and stretch up and put those hands in your back pocket again. 
and see if you go back a little bit further, bend those knees, don't fall, and stretch that neck back, nice and easy, awesome, it feels so good to stretch. Now we do a little bit of a rag doll twist, where we're going to slowly roll down, sit back in your butt, and while you're sitting back, just hang it down, hold those elbows, go side to side, your quadriceps are engaged, your quadriceps are working right here, nice and easy. You can hang your hands down if you want, let them brush along the side of your body. Ooh, my neck feels tight. We're going to roll it up slowly. And you know what? Let's get that neck slowly to the right. We're going to do three to the right. Good. Nice and slow. Go three to the left. We sit in the same position driving our car, or even if you can't drive, sitting at the desk, listening to the teacher talk, or sitting at your desk on the computer with our head down all the time. So we need to loosen up these muscles. We're gonna get the shoulders. We're gonna roll them back. And roll those shoulders back. We're gonna do four of these. Okay, if you need to get that neck back in there too, that was two, three, four. All right, that was a nice beginning. Now we're gonna kick it up a little bit, get a little bit of the core engaged, inhale. And exhale, roll it down, roll it down, roll it down. And now I said we're going to target those surfers and those runners who have the tight hamstrings. Loosen up those shoulders. We're in downward dog right now. Okay, get those fingertips nice and wide. I like to hold the downward dog. I like to bend my knees when I'm in downward dog because my goal is to get my heels to touch the ground. So I don't know if I can get both, oh, both just touched. But during yoga, if you are tense, your muscles will be tense. But if you breathe oxygen and relax, those muscles can relax. Now we're gonna go into the vinyasa flow. We're gonna push forward to plank. Get our hands underneath our shoulders. Okay, I like to get that body nice and tight. Hold that plank position. Now we're gonna press down, keeping the butt up, bringing our chest down, and now that we're down, we're going to go into up dog. Up dog. Lift that chin up, upward dog, and hold it. Good. Now since we're working on surfers, we're gonna go into child's pose. Now, I like to get my knees nice and wide when I do the child's pose. And get those arms in front of you. Now by getting my knees nice and wide, when I've got that surfboard between my legs, it helps loosen up my hips. Okay? My brother taught me that tip. He said, get those knees nice and wide. We're holding child's pose. Keep holding that child's pose. If you want, you can walk your hands to the left. Hold it there. We're going to hold that child's pose. If you want, you can walk your hands to the right and hold that child's pose. Remember to breathe. Get oxygen flowing to your muscles. That will loosen them up. That will loosen up those muscles. Okay, bring your hands forward. Okay, we're gonna go back to plank. Then into downward dog. Walk our hands, walk our feet to the top of the mat. We're gonna slowly rise up, roll through the spine. I like doing that because it gets the oxygen back to my body. One more inhale. Gives me a little bit of a break. Get the oxygen and we're going to slowly fold back down into downward dog. Get those hamstrings. Hold it here for a little bit. Can you get those heels to touch? Can you get those heels down? Okay. Get ready for that vinyasa flow. We're going to press forward. Bend the elbows. Okay, work those triceps and then into up dog. Okay, we're gonna hold that. Now from up dog, we're gonna go to pigeon. Bring your right leg underneath your body. And my pigeon is not the best, 
but we need to stretch out that IT band, the side of your leg. And if you can lean forward, a lot of you probably will go a lot farther than I can, but that's okay. And hold that pigeon. I also feel it in my left hip. I feel this pigeon in my left hip. I feel it in my right iliotibial band. Remember to relax and breathe. Hold that pigeon. Man, this is going to be good if you're a runner because your hips get tight. Your iliotibial band, your IT band gets tight. Same thing with surfers. You need to loosen these things up. We're all athletes, whether you're a football player, baseball player. Okay, that's enough of that pigeon. Let's go back into downward dog. Let's uh, bring it back to the vinyasa flow. Press down, hover, hover, and then go to up dog. Stretch it out. And now we're going to bring our left leg forward. Get that left leg in the pigeon. I feel a stretch in my right hip. And I also feel a stretch in my left IT band or my left hip, my left butt. Get that nice stretch. Feel that stretch in that hip? You can go lower than I can. If you get your leg out further, go for it. But this is where my body wants to go. All right, let's work that core next. So let's press back to downward dog. Let's walk to the top of the mat. We're gonna inhale. Cactus arms, stretch that chest out. I like to do two. So I get that oxygen flowing. Inhale. Stretch it way over your head. Cactus arms nice and slow. Stretch that chest and then roll it down. Roll it down. We're going to get the core to downward dog. Now we're in the downward dog. Let's press it forward to plank. Okay, now what we're going to do is Vasatasana. Left hand down, right hand up. If you need to modify it, put your knee down. If you want to challenge yourself, look up to your right hand. I'm going to see what I can do here, but I'm going to try to lift my right leg while I'm looking at my right hand. Okay, make a star. That's going to make it a little bit harder. I couldn't do this a few months ago, but I've been working at it. And when you're talking, it makes it even harder. So we did the one side. We're going to do the other side now, left side. You need to put your knee down, put your knee down. Look up to that hand. Now our bodies aren't always balanced, but I've got the star. If you want to make it harder, do that star. Look up to the sky, to your left hand, working that core. All right, since we're doing some core work, let's stay down. We're going to go right arm out. Now we go left arm out. Okay, you got the idea? We're going to hold the right arm for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Left arm. We're doing some strength training. We started out a little easy. Two, three, four, five. I wanted to throw something in there to challenge us. So what we're going to try to do is, let's first go into that vinyasa flow. Go down, up, into downward dog, get ready for our challenge, it's coming up. We're in up, we're in up dog right now. Press back to down dog. Okay, now walk your hands to the top of your mat. Rise up, inhale. Get the oxygen flowing back to our muscles. Get ready, get ready for some core work. Up, inhale. And exhale, we're going to roll back down into downward dog. Here comes that core work I was talking about. Now we're going to go to plank. Just try it. We're going to go right hand, left leg. Right hand out, left leg. One, two, three, four, five. If you need to modify it, I don't know, get on your knee. Switch. Left hand, right leg. One, two, 
three, four, five. Some of you are falling. That's okay. We're working that shoulder. Push back into downward dog. Let's hold that downward dog. Walk the hands back to the feet. Roll up, roll up. Hands over your head. Now we're gonna try some more balancing. See if you can take your right leg and hands over your head. Okay, if you wanna get more challenging, try to grab your right foot. I've been working on this for a couple years. Focus on something and hold that right foot. If you can't do this, just stand with your arms over your head and your leg bent. Okay, we're getting that hamstring right here. We're working on that balance. Whatever problems you're focusing on in this world, you forget about because you're focusing on your balance now. Bring that leg back and feet down. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do the other challenging pose. Left leg up. Hands over your head. Stretch it out. Work on that balance. Stretch through your hands. If you want to challenge yourself, grab that foot and hold that foot out. And hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go back down. Inhale. Slowly fall down. I feel this work in my shoulders. Walk the down dog. Now we're going to sit and we're going to do supine twist where we're going to lay down and take our arms out and lay our leg to the side. Just throw our left leg over our body. Keep that knee bent. You can grab it with your right hand, but our left leg is over our body. Or you can throw your left leg way over your body. And just hold it, feel that stretch in your back. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's hug both legs. We're going to get the other side. Let's rock a little bit if we can. Squeeze it nice and relax. And other side. Throw the leg over. Timber. Oh. Keep that leg bent if you want. For the supine twist, we're going to throw it over to the side. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, since I said we're going to get some stretching, stay on your back, left leg forward. Hug your right knee. Just hug your right knee. Hug that right leg. Now we're going to extend the right leg. You can grab your ankle, your calf, your knee, and just feel that stretch in your hamstring. Try to pull back on that leg. Remember to breathe and get some oxygen. Hold that right leg. Get that stretch on that right hamstring. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring this leg down. Hug your left leg. Just get it nice and easy. And bring that left leg up. Stretch out that left hamstring. Grab your ankle if you can, your foot if you can. How high can you go? I like to grab my calf. Nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's sit up. Like I said, runners, surfers, all athletes. Cross your right leg over your left. Keep your left foot forward. If you could bring your forehead to your knee, we're stretching out that buttocks, the, as Forrest Gump would call it, the gluteus maximus. Try to bring your head down to your knee. Feel that stretch in your right butt cheek. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. Cross your left leg over your right and squeeze that leg. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Bring your knee down to your forehead. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Now we're gonna get that lower back. Right leg over your left. Put your left elbow behind your right knee. Now look backwards over your right shoulder. Feel that lower back twist. Feel that stretch in the spine. So your right leg is over your left leg crossed and your left elbow is behind your right knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch it. Left leg over the right. Right elbow behind the left knee. Look back over your left shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna do a little extra credit. Right leg over your left, sit back. Put your right hand through that hole and pull back on that left, pull back on your knee. We're stretching the IT band in those hips. And then cross your left leg over your right and pull back on that knee. Feel that stretch in your left hip. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, sit up. Inhale. Exhale. And as I've seen in other yoga videos, namaste. Thanks for watching my video. Hit subscribe, share it, like it, do it again, and have a wonderful day.